Hi, Lake Speed Jr., Driven Racing Oil. We're here in the Dino Cell at Race Engines Plus, Joey Arrington's place, which is the old Everham engine shop from back in the uh, Dodge days of NASCAR. But that is not a cup engine. That is a CT525. And what we're going to be doing today is some oil testing, but not just changing brands of oil and viscosities of oil. One of the things we want to look at is the amount of time it takes to get oil pressure when priming the engine after doing an oil change. And you may be wondering, why is that important? Well, these CT525s kind of have a bad reputation of having bearing problems and piston problems. Well, you got to remember, proper lubrication is the four R's. Right oil, right place, right time, right amount. And when you prime an engine, when you do an oil change and you lose the prime, now you got to reprime the engine to get so that the engine oil pump can deliver the oil to the right place, the right time, and the right amount. Well, this is an LS based engine that has a G rotor pump on the crankshaft. A traditional small block Chevrolet has a spur gear style pump that's driven off of the distributor gear. So that spur gear pump is sitting in the oil pan, whereas on this engine, that oil pump sitting right over here, right behind all of this, on the very front of the engine. So let's get on with the testing and let's actually see what happens. So we've completed an oil change with a fresh fill of synthetic 1550 motor oil. Now we're going to prime the engine by running the starter with the ignition turned off. As you can see, the engine speed is running about 180, 190 RPM, and we're going to see how long it takes for it to begin to build oil pressure. Remember, this gear rotor oil pump is not submerged in oil, so it's going to take a while for it to finally gain oil pressure. Wait for it, wait for it, still not there, here it goes, finally gaining oil pressure. That took 27.23 seconds to gain oil pressure. Now, let's see how long it takes to gain oil pressure after the oil pump has already been primed. Starter is initiated, and there's oil pressure just three seconds. As you can see, it took a lot longer time for the oil pressure to come up after doing an oil change. You gotta remember, proper lubrication is the right oil, right place, right time, and right amount. Failure to properly prime the engine before starting it up could cause a lubrication-related failure, not because the oil's not any good, it's because you didn't get enough of it where it's supposed to be, when it was supposed to be there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.